that Imperato method way was it's, it's basically Kimpo crafting. Okay, so he, this guy punches. I'm standing here, and you know we never in Kajukimbo we never take a, a fighting stance in the street because you don't want to show your, you know, and plus you're stupid if you do it because you're asking for it. You're 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 kind of egging on a fight. So we train from just a standing position and relax. You know, naturally you stay relaxed. And then when this guy tries to throw a punch, then I'm gonna I'm gonna strike here and kick at the same time. Okay, so do it here and back down. Well, so when I trained with Sifu Yan, Senior Grandmaster Yan, he did a close fist here and he did an open fist here. That was different for me because I had already trained to learn it this way, but it wasn't that hard to, to make the adjustment. So that, that was a simple thing that, that he, he, cause he came from the Ramos method. So he, they had tweaked it a little bit. <clears throat> Alphabet one doesn't stay on the center line here. It, it, you do what we call four corner cover. Uh, Hawaiians call it four corner cover. And all it is is just working off an angle, stepping here and turning, right? Into a, a cat step. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, two, and always so important to turn those shoulders, you know, you, you don't want to be halfway when you're turning, so you, here you want to you make sure you're over here, see, so I'm, first of all, I'm, I'm moving out here, one, blocking, and then I'm going to come down with this on the, my ulnar bone, striking here, and kicking at the same time. So, go slow. Here. One, two, three. This, to the, to the temple, okay? Or the eye, whatever you like, you know? So, I have a habit, and it's, it's not Up fast enough. 
So this is always up here, just to, for, this is my insurance policy, you know. So, somebody have a question? Oh. So when he starts to come in, I'm bringing this up. He comes in, I'm here, and I want to hit that muscle here again. I'm not just trying to block the bone. I want to stun. I want to, I want to him to feel, you know, that. Feel it. Yeah. Here, one, and then we're going to like claw the eyes straight into the eyes. But when you're practicing, go to the forehead, right? Don't touch the guy's eyes. So again, one and. There's a forward snapping kick at the or forward kick at the same time to the groin. Two, three. You see that? See how he reacted? Because I hit him in the sternum, not with a punch, but with this, with my knuckles. So when I'm punching, I turn this and hit that sternum right there. <laughs> Again, I love this guy. <laughs> no, I do. He's my brother. He ain't heavy. <laughs> Punch. One, two, three, four. So you, you know, you come in, bottom fist to the clavicle, and knee to the olo olos. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. One, two, three. Here, four, and he drop, and I kick him in the head. Cause I can't go down, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> so I think you got that, yeah. Yes, so sir. inward block check here, and your hands already ready, right? My hands ready to go to the eyes. So inward block here, one, two. You got to take a little step in so you get your knee up under, underneath. And I know all the guys know that's where it hurts the most. And you want to hit the groin.
It's the same as two two B basically. But you're moving back instead of it. Or maybe it's advanced to it. Is it advanced to it? <laughs> it is. Number two B in Yeah. <laughs> Just keep hitting until you get a reaction. <laughs>